so good to see you. Thanks for dropping in. When you get a chance, look up Soul Liberation Day, December 7th. Oh, that's right around the corner. The transformation. Bless up. Bless up. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Talik says, can you send a shout out to my platform, the Realities Temple on on Earth Internet Ministry. Our theme this year is After Purge Comes the Healing. Sub, shout out to your platform, Talik. All the best to you guys with continuing to stretch in perspective, to stretch in what is possible, and to continue to bring healing into the space of yourself and others. Yes. In the name of my ancestors, Peace forever and always. Next month. Many people will celebrate the uh, anniversary of the birth of the Honorable El Haj Malik Shabazz, otherwise known. We know him as uh, Brother Malcolm X. I was invited to participate in a ceremony in New York. Probably one of the biggest celebrations because that's where uh, Brother Malcolm, may he rest in peace. That's where, of course, he, he was laid to rest. And I declined. With all due respect, I decline. I would not like to go and participate in this uh, event because how long have y'all been doing this? I don't worship dead people. Malcolm is gone. So only thing you're doing is a ritual, symbolism, pretending that you're doing something. So what is the benefit? People spending their money, their time to go visit a grave because Malcolm is not here. Malcolm is not here. Dr. King is not here. I don't want to go to Washington, D.C. and look at this big ass rock they don't carve with an image of Dr. King. I don't, I, I decline, I don't want to do that either. They're not here. I don't worship dead people. The best thing that we can do for Dr. King and Malcolm and Harry Tubman and Nat Turner is to become a better people. That's what we can do. And build upon and bring into reality the things that they were talking about. If you don't do that, Putting a rock in Washington, D.C. that looked like Dr. King, that don't mean nothing. Going to Malcolm's grave, and we can't tell Malcolm, well, Mal if Malcolm was still alive, if he could still talk from the grave, and he said, well, what are y'all doing? Uh, if Dr. King could talk from the grave and say, well, y'all come here to visit my grave, what y'all, what, what have you come, what have you done? Uh, well, Dr. King, well, we we spent $10 million on this rock with your picture. Dr. King, what? They could have took that $10 million and built, built apartments so people could live more cheap. Our people could live more cheap. You want to give respect and honor to Malcolm. Just recently, 
it was reported that there's a warrant for the arrest of Vladimir Putin in Russia, right? Crimes against humanity because of some allegations in relation to the war in Ukraine. Why can't we, in 2023, why can't we file a complaint with this international court in The Hague? If you can charge Vladimir Putin with crimes against humanity, then we grieve and we want to draw a complaint and we want America charged with crimes against humanity since we've been here in this country and it continues to this day. Crimes against this nation, not just an individual, against this entire damn country, the federal government. If you want to do something for Malcolm and you say that Malcolm, Mac, what? We are we waiting on Malcolm. We always waiting for a savior, some kind of messiah. Malcolm gonna do. Well, Malcolm can't do. He was shot down. He was murdered. You are lying. Take your happy ass to the United Nations. Take your happy ass to the to the Hague. It's not too late because there's no limitation on murder. If Adolf Hitler was still alive, he was charged with crimes against humanity, war crimes. To my knowledge, there's no statute of limitations for murder, crimes against humanity, no, no country. There's no statute of limitations. But it's much easier for you to go to Malcolm's grave Sing some sing some songs, I guess. I don't know what the hell they do there. Malcolm was a wonderful man. Malcolm can't hear nothing that you say. Malcolm can't hear your praise. Dr. King can't hear your praise. Not to our knowledge. So the only thing we're doing is putting on a show for ourselves pretending like we're doing something. There's no benefit to go to Malcolm's grave. I might do so because I have relatives in the, in the area. I might do so, go and visit his resting place. But I celebrate Malcolm every day. I celebrate Malcolm, Dr. King, and all our people every damn day. And the best honor that I know I can give them is to become a better people and be successful and strong and show them that their death, their suffering, and their sacrifice didn't go in vain. What a gift to Dr. King, what a gift to Harriet Tubman, what a gift to, to Medgar Evers, what a gift to Malcolm, what a gift to our people if they knew we took control of a state and then that state turned into states and one day when we're dead and gone, it becomes a nation. That's the best honor. That's the best gift. That's the best present that we can give our father.